Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hey, we're back here at South Mountain Creamery, and I want to hop out of the combine here. We're harvesting the canola off of uh, Field 22 that we bought, and uh, I've been taking a look at this I was, as I was coming around the corner here, looking at these fields. This is going to be a great place to, uh, to clear out here. Can I get up here? Yeah, I can. All right. Our green tank. That looks good. Um, but yeah, this looks really great. Um, the fields kind of come at an angle here, and as soon as we purchase these other fields, we'll clear out these trees. And um, this actually looks pretty smooth down through here until you get, you know, past that fir tree line over there. So, walk on up through here. Get in here and chip these trees out. And you see this field goes way over to here, but it's actually, like I said, it's pretty smooth all the way down through here and I was eyeballing this and uh, it looks like until it gets maybe back here it's still pretty smooth right through here yeah it's real smooth right here this is like a, a pass right here like one pass with the, uh, the combine and then we I mean the bumps are like right there but I think it's wide enough to make one pass with a combine, so we could chop these trees down. Chop them down, Lord have mercy. We could cut them down. We're not going to actually chop with an axe, guys. We could cut these trees and uh, combine them with this little field here. This is field 29. Uh, I didn't even plant anything in it because it's just not that big of a field. Um, I was thinking about putting a building here, but there's plenty of building over here and there. And uh, this is actually a sale point for straw and stuff so but yeah plenty of build buildings here to park stuff in or put bales in if we wanted to so I may do that that might be a, like a little bit of a project to do here once we uh, well we own those two fields now so we can start cutting these right away if we wanted to these bushes will plow out here like that so we could just run a plow through here and uh, we'd have to get a smaller cedar if we don't already have one uh, and then it does go uphill towards this field, so we'd have to turn it a little bit. But it's still pretty smooth through here. It's really not that bumpy right here. Oh, floating tree. And then you come up here. This is where this field ends. Well, it's got soybeans in it. I want to buy these fields. I may end up buying them. And then, yeah, we could just uh, expand this field on out and plow it on over here to this corn field. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm probably going to buy these fields. The wood chips that we're going to get off of them, look at all these trees that we can chip. And most of them, looks like most of them are birch trees anyway. So that's going to even increase the yield. So we're going to make some money this winter, guys. Get ready because this map is probably going to break. All right, let me get back in my combine and get back to harvesting here. Okay. Just doing some in rows kind of here. Getting this cut. I'll probably buy those fields when they're ready to harvest. So, yeah. All right, and fall is not that far away. We're in midsummer here. Uh, but, yeah, trying to get this harvested. Gonna go ahead and get it done, and uh, I think I've got enough money to buy those fields now. If I bought them now, I could start working on the wood chips. But I also need to sell that um, timber down there that I've got. I haven't done that yet. Down by field 7. No, really it's more towards field 9. I need to do that. And that, that'll make us a little extra money, so... But this is going to be really cool down here. Plow all this together. We'll do 22, 21, 20 all together and really 29 will become a part of it the downside is we can't do anything with that grass field over there there's a fence there if the fence wasn't there we could plow 40 into this and it would be even a bigger field so but they didn't add that option and I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't you could do it over on the old farm but you can't do it here sad times I know Crimey River. But anywho, we'll get plenty of timber, uh, plenty of wood chips off of this. We're going to have a ton of wood chips to sell. 
a absolute ton. Tons and tons and tons. So yeah, we've got uh, been getting a lot of fact sheets lately. Uh, we saw the uh, the cotton harvester. We saw the new New Holland skid steer, which looks pretty cool. Uh, it makes me wonder if JCB is actually going to be back in the game. I haven't seen him yet at the time of this recording, but uh, I guess we'll see. There's still plenty of time for them to to come out with it. And the website itself says that there are still more brands to come. Um, there's a new tractor. I can't remember the name of it now. Armatrack or Tramrack or something like that. It's one of those little 100 horsepower tractors that you can't really do a whole lot with unless you're on a small amount. But um, I'm excited about, uh, still excited about John Deere, as always. Uh, we got two tractors coming, so that's nice. They confirmed that with the latest video, which was the crop interaction video. And you know what? I need to go this side now. Because I need to get my, uh, my uh, what do you call that? Arg wagon. I need to get that over here. But yeah, the, uh, the field interaction video confirmed that there's two John Deere tractors. Now let me tab to my thing here. And this thing is getting full. So we got this field harvested. It's good to go. We can start. What I'll probably do, I'll probably start on the timber on this side now that I've got this harvested. Probably down on the west side of 18 and kind of run up that uh, edge of 42. And then I probably won't attack the mountain right away. I want to get these trees and stuff down around 18 and 17. In 19 so I'll probably work on that next that's probably where I'll move the logging project to and we'll have this project down here when I buy these fields oh he's at 99% nope he did 100% he stopped so he might fill me up almost it'll be close I'll get to a hundred thousand liters for sure And then he'll come back and do that last pass. Maybe, well, maybe a pass and a little bitty, little bitty piece of a pass there. I will say this thing unloads fast. Right, I'm just gonna keep with him here. But yeah, look at all these birch trees out here. There's a ton of birch trees. One birch tree is, and I'm. I'm trying to remember the exact number but it's a lot it's like 60,000 liters almost you would think the oaks would be that but they're not the birch trees are and I know why because they're glitchy if they hadn't made them glitchy there's like some phantom limbs on them that you don't see so that's probably why that's probably why we get more chips for them so hey their mistake turns into my money that's what that's how I feel about it so Oh yeah, but it's we're we're counting down the days now, guys. We've got uh, six weeks until uh, Farm Sim 20 or Farm Sim 20. Farm Sim 19 comes out. Comes out November 20th. That's where I got to 20. But yeah, I'm looking very much looking forward to it. Six weeks away. Hard to believe. Six weeks. Halloween is in three weeks. Can y'all believe that? Where has the year gone? I mean, it's just gone. Time is flying and. Speaking of Halloween, I've got to I've got to get my Halloween decorating decorations up today. My neighbor across the street already has his up, and he's got quite a display. So I uh, I bought some new Halloween lights and a new pumpkin, and I've got some other pumpkins I'm going to put out there. But I got some straw bales too, and uh, I've got some black light stuff I'm think I'm going to work with. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of. He's the only one here across from me that uh, that decorates really. So, yeah, it's on. It's on like Donkey. No, it's not on like Donkey Kong. It's the Battle of the Bulbs, I guess, Halloween edition. And then uh, Christmas, uh, they put up uh, some lights. So yeah, it's on. And it's crazy. We're the only ones on the street that decorate. So. Battle of the Decorations. So I gotta get out there and do that today. Probably immediately following this video. And, um... Got my, uh... 
shock mount and microphone arm ordered. They should be coming in this next week, so I really should probably redo some stuff here in the studio as well. I'd like to move the desk here, but I don't know. I, I really should move the desk because the computer makes a lot of noise. And it, if I turn the engine off, you guys can probably hear the computer. Hear the from it? That's the uh, the fans running. I'm sure it's probably because this is graphic intensive, but that thing really starts roaring when you get back here in the dust on the combine. So, but yeah. So anyway, I don't know. There's a it, when I move the disc, it should decrease that noise because I'm gonna kind of move it behind it. So, but yeah, I need to redo some stuff. Got a lot of work to do. Got to do some adult stuff today. Adulting. Got to do some. Uh, Cleaning, probably need to mow the yard again. And yeah, fun times. I definitely gotta do laundry. Gotta do that today. Gotta watch a football game. <laughs> and, uh, not NFL. It's college ball. It's Saturday today. I, rec I usually record on Saturday. And um, then on Sundays, I'll edit and try to get stuff uploaded. But yeah, at the time this comes out, uh, I think I'm still about a one week ahead on my videos. So, I think I've still got one week here. I've tried. I've always tried to keep two weeks ahead, and that has not always happened. But uh, I think I'm still about a week a week ahead on videos. So, we've got five weeks left. If you're watching this now on YouTube, we've probably got five weeks left until. Uh, FS19 comes out. I am kind of disappointed that it's coming out Thanksgiving week, but I'm kind of not. I kind of am, but I'm kind of not. The reason I am is because I'm going to be busy. I got a lot I got a lot of family stuff to do on Thanksgiving and it's kind of like I don't want to. I kind of want to do the farm sim stuff, you know. Which, you know, if it had come out the last week of October, which is what it usually does, uh, I would have had nothing really going on except for you know Halloween and you know I can take off a of, you know two or three hours here for that but Thanksgiving stuff is uh, like an all-day thing sometimes and uh, of course they're gonna have you know the, the sales and stuff and I'll probably want to go to them I can't really think of anything that I really need I could buy another TV to go in here but uh, probably not probably just get like some household stuff or oh you know what I could use I could use like another hard drive to put all my FS19 videos on I need to look for that they have been putting a lot of stuff on sale beforehand now uh, before the actual sales start so like the first three weeks of November before that week um, they usually put a lot of that stuff on sale already so alright guys we're about to be done about to be done with this field. I think I'm going to pull this on around instead of going all the way down there. Alright. Just leave that running. Run and catch my combine. Can I catch him before he finishes? Maybe. Maybe. <coughs> the dust. Made it. All right, let's go dump these 81 liters of canola in here. Now, what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to leave the combine here. Because if I buy those fields, when they're ready to harvest, I can just harvest them, except for the cornfield. We'll get our forage harvester for that. So, um, <clears throat> it is going to rain, though. What, I could park it down there. Can I get down there, though? Yeah, it might be harder to get down there. I'll just park it over here under the trees. It'll be alright. We'll fold it up. And uh, just kind of park inside here. I can get in there without hitting anything. You know what? I could back in there. This will provide a little protection if it hails or something. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Cool beans. 
Let's take our tractor on down and dump that. Where are the uh, planes at? There, oh wait, there's a bird. Or a plane. It's a bird, it's a plane! Nope, it's a bird. There's the plane. I was wondering where it was at. I was like, aren't there usually planes here? Yeah, there he goes. He's going that way. He is flying left traffic. And he looks like he's on short final there. So, if there's an airport around here, it would be like right in here somewhere. Because he is flying left traffic. I do know a little airplane stuff. I played uh, flight sim for a long time. I played flight sim. Let's see. I'm trying to remember the first version of flight sim. I had I had one of the first versions, and it wasn't the. I think there was a 3.1 version that I did not have. And I'm trying to remember. Was there a flight simulator 95? I'm pretty sure there was a 98. I know I had that, but I think there was a Flight Simulator 95 that I had, and it was bare bones. It was not very graphically great, but you could do the cockpit stuff, and it was pretty accurate. I mean, it didn't have a lot of flaws, so. All right, we'll go dump this, and then I need to get that timber up down there, because we need to start back on timber. That's our money maker right now. We'll get into silage later. You know this uh, Argo wagon kind of pushes this tractor a little bit, especially when you're going downhill. It's probably because it's so full. It's got over 100,000 liters in it. Narrow bridge. Is there another road back there? No, this is the only road. Okay. Thought I missed a turn. Alright. Let's go on the good side of the road here. Howdy, neighbors. So this is not our field. This has got weed in it. Wheat. Wheat. Not weed. Wheat. In it. It's got wheat. Wheat. Every time I say wheat, it comes out as wheat. It sounds like weed. We're not growing that kind of stuff here. Mm -mm. Nope. We follow the law here on our farms. We're growing wheat. Alright. I need to check on the cows. I ain't checked on them in a minute. Pretty sure they're probably doing okay. Now this is our field. This is our corn field. This is where we'll get most of our uh, chaff off of when it's ready. Okay, we'll come outside the tractor now. Not too many trees getting in the way. I do need to cut the trees around that field though. Basically, if I own the field, I'm cutting the trees around it. But I think I'm going to wait until I get the uh, harvests done and do most of that in the winter so we're gonna have more wood chips at some point we'll be rushing to cut the trees before the wood chips go on sale or not go on sale have a high price that's it all right you know what i think both my trailers are full with stuff in them yep they are so i'm gonna have to unless i can dump directly in there you know i haven't tried this yet let's see if it works it should work Yeah, it works. Look at that. Sure does. Okay. So we can just dump directly into this. I knew it worked on the uh, the in-game stuff most of the time, but didn't know about this placeable. But it does work. Alright, and I need gas. Fuel to be more specific. I'm getting low. I'm down to 67 liters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to park this Arger wagon right here. And I think I filled this tractor up with gas. Or I just parked it there to clean it. I think I just parked it there to clean it, to be honest. 
Pull it up there where I can fill it up. Which side is my fuel thing on? It's on this side, isn't it? Let me get down here a little better. I am a professional. Alright. So let's fill that up. Go ahead and shut it off. I need to wash these tractors. How's this tractor sitting on fuel? Yeah, I could use some too. Move the baler up here. Got to pick up my uh, straw bales and put them somewhere. I guess over in that hay barn. I thought about moving it, but you know, it's in a good spot. It's just that the cows walk through it, which makes it less realistic. But that's the flattest ground around, unless I take part of one of these fields, um, like up there or something, and uh, put it up there. I kind of don't want to. I kind of don't want to. All right, now our bank account is draining because we're fueling up our tractors here. So just out of curiosity, uh, before we go, I want to see what I uh, can see how much these fields cost. I cannot remember. So this is the soybean. It's 119, and the corn field should be a bit more. 204. So 119 and 204. Basically, to have a little extra cushion in the bank, we need $400,000 to buy both these fields. So we need to get busy. All right, let's head back down here. This is our stumper. We'll get to that. Got to grind these stumps out and uh, eventually plow this together. I think I'm going to wait until we harvest the sunflower to work on these and plow them together. But I need to get back to work on the timber over here, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, oh, no, I need to get the bales up first because they'll start to rot out here, won't they? Yes, they will. These, I think these bales rot. So it's 4,000 liters. It'll decrease in, um, in size. So we need to get these bales up first. We'll work on timber later. The trees are not going anywhere. They'll be there. Um, but I need to get these bales up. So where... Did I buy a bale thing? I think I did. I think it's up there. Let me have it delivered. I don't think I've had it delivered yet. Nope. I don't see it. Uh, did I buy one of those? You know what? Hang on. I don't think I bought one. Wait a minute. Yes, I did. Where's it at? Is it up here already? No, it's over there. I parked it. I did buy one because I picked up the uh, the hay bales. Okay. Okay. It's It's been a minute since I've been here, guys. Uh, but it is. I did buy one. So let me run over there and get it. So that's what I'm going to do. That's the plan. I got the tractor fully fueled here. They need a wash. Probably go ahead and do that now. And uh, then I'm going to pick up the straw bales and start putting them over in the, uh, in the uh, bale barn. Ooh, bale barn. That's what we should call those. You know what? From this point forward, anything we put bales in is called a bale barn. All right. That's what we'll call it on every map. All right, guys, going to wash the tractors up here, give them a good wash, get them clean, because we want to look like professionals. And uh, we'll put all the bales in the bale barn. We'll come back and do that in the next episode. Eh, too, really. I went too far. All right, let's get this washed on up here. I think I'm going to take the other tractor. We'll save this one for infield work or auger work, I think. All right, that one is clean. All right, and until next time, guys, remember, you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. We'll see you guys next time.